Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a auto hotkey message box with motivational quotes. Let's get going. Here is the message box with a random motivational quote I found on the internet. The message box has four buttons. And if I click each button, each button does a different action. If I click the OK button, it will only acknowledge and close the message box. Let me reopen. And every time I reopen or relaunch the message box, a new motivational quote will be printed out. The edit button will be stepping into the auto hotkey script. The reload will basically reload your message box with a new quote. And obviously the quit escape button will also close the message box. The reload, I also coded it where you can press your F12 key on your keyboard and it will reload a new motivational quote. So if I keep pressing F12 over and over, I keep getting a new motivational quote. Let's go ahead and step into this script file so you can see how I built this message box. If I click the edit button, I also coded a warning message that asks the end user, are you sure you want to edit this file? If I click no, it will get out of that warning message and return to the greeting box. Let's go ahead and click the edit button again. And this time we'll click yes. And now it stepped into the motivational message box dot ahk. I will go ahead and change the language to auto IT so that way you can better see and it's basically syntax highlighting. The green section means it's a comment which does not do anything. The first three variables called environmental or environment variables are recommended by the auto hotkey community. The file path, I added it myself and it basically returns the full path to this file. And if I hover over here, the full path is located on the C temp auto hotkey GUI motivational messages and the file name itself. Here is the logic on how I am building the random quotes. I will go over it on a high level, but will not be talking into details. So on a high level, the logic says open or loop through a quotes.txt file, which is hosted right here. I am going to show you my file explorer and it is pointing to this file. If I open this quotes file, it's a .txt file with different quotes I came across the internet. If I scroll down to the bottom, you will see that I have 234 lines of quotes. Let me jump back here. The logic will randomly assign a number to this total lines and it will run a random calculation and it will assign a random number and put it in a index. So every time you rerun this auto hotkey file, it will come up with a different number. That's how I am building the random quotes. And I am assigning 
the quote line variable right here. Let me scroll down. This section is for the message box layout and look. Let me bring back the message box. And you can see, so starting on line 31, I am hiding the minimize and maximize box. You can see that I, on, I only have the close button in the upper right corner. The font of the motivational quote, I gave it a size 20 and font family is Tahoma. Moving on, the text, or in this case, the message box is 1000 pixels wide. You can change that to 500 pixels or 1000 pixels or even 2000 if you wanted to. I found out that 1000 is a good size. And here I am sending over the variable from the logic above to get me a new quote. The size 10 Verdana is meant for the four buttons and you can play around with different font sizes and font families. Moving down to the buttons. So I have four buttons. The OK button will be selected by default. So if I reload this, you can see that the OK button has a little thick border around it, meaning the button is selected by default. You don't have to give any buttons a default, but in this case, I chose to give the OK button the default. You have the edit button, reload, F12, and quit escape button. You can name these buttons whatever you like. The greetings message box title is on line 39, and this is also customizable. You can name it to your preference. Let's keep moving down. Here is the logic for the edit button. Remember when I clicked the edit button, I had a warning. So line 47, here's the warning text. And here is the warning message. Are you sure you want to edit this file? Question mark. The logic says if the message box button yes is pressed, run notepad plus plus dot exe and then go to the file path which will open this file that i have if i click yes i already have the file open so it will not open it again and let me double click on this and scroll up and here is the file path that I gave. So I'm pulling in the full file path. It's something nice to have. So that way you don't have to keep looking for your file where it's located. You can just assign the full path to the file. For demo purposes, let me go ahead and quit this. I will comment this and uncomment this. Do a save. I'm going to double click on my message box.ahk file. And let me show you this. If I click the edit button now, and we changed it from Notepad++ to the default Notepad, this will open this file in the Notepad. And there it is. So I prefer Notepad++ because I am used to this application. I'm gonna revert my changes back, comment this, and comment the Notepad++. 
and reload the file. So now it took in the new logic. Moving down, the button reload F12 will send the F12. So I'm saying if you click the button or if you press the F12 key on your keyboard, it will reload the message box. The button OK will exit the app. The escape button on your keyboard will also exit the app. The GUI close button up here will exit the app and the button quit escape will also exit the app. Let me go ahead and reload a few of these more quotes. So this is a good one to leave you with. If you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button because I will be putting out more AutoHotKey tutorial videos and along with other tips and tricks I have planned for the future. Thank you for watching.